With the Nintendo 3DS eShop closing this month, there are some Pokemon essentials that you need to download before it's too late. First off, I'm just going to start off with Pokemon Bank. Pokemon Bank is what you need to transfer your Pokemon from previous generations all the way up to the newest generation. Without this installed on your 3DS, you won't be able to transfer your Pokemon. This used to be like an annual subscription, but Nintendo announced that the service will be free to use. So I'm pretty sure you could use this after the eShop closes to still transfer Pokemon. That's what it sounds like, but you need to download it on your 3DS first. So make sure to get this downloaded to transfer your Pokemon. Next up is 100% any of the virtual console Pokemon games. So with the 3DS, you can download some of the OG like first gen, second gen Pokemon games. You can download Crystal, Gold, Silver, Red, blue, yellow. You could even download the trading card game, which is pretty cool. I've heard some really good things about that game, but the biggest bonus of using the virtual console to download these original Pokemon games is not having to worry about a save file not working or the battery dying because the old Game Boy cartridges tend to die after a few years or so for like 10, 15 years, the battery has to be replaced. Sometimes the save files don't work. The original Game Boy games are also kind of pricey. I mean, they're probably about like 30, 40, 50 dollars, I guess, depending on which game you want. And you also have to factor in the cost of buying an actual Game Boy. So with this, all these virtual console games, I'm pretty sure are $10 and you could get all of these original Pokemon games right on your 3DS, and you could just easily play them and not ever have to worry about the save file or the battery dying. There are a few demo versions of Pokemon games that you can download that actually give you some Pokemon. So there's the Sun and Moon demo, which you could actually get Ashers Greninja, which is really cool. I don't know why it sounds like I said Ashers, but I definitely said Ashes. It's Ashes Greninja, not Ashers. So pretty much in the demo, you just go on like a short adventure. I'm not exactly sure how long it is. I'm guessing it's not crazy long maybe 30 minutes maybe an hour of gameplay so it's not the full game of course but sun and moon aren't really that expensive to buy anyways they're they're like 15 20 dollars on ebay but i mean you might as well get it it's a free download and you get a greninja and you get to test out the game just to see if you like it if you've never played it so it's definitely something to check out you can also get the omega ruby and alpha sapphire demos for the 3ds Pretty much the same thing with this, you go on like some short adventures, you got some small tasks and stuff, and it's not the full game of course, and apparently in this demo you get a Mega Glalie, so that's pretty cool, something to check out, get a free Pokemon, why not? There's also another demo you can get, it's the Pokemon Rumble World game demo, so if you've never heard of this, it's pretty much the same thing as Pokemon Rumble Blast, which I mean I thought was a pretty fun game, pretty much you're playing as the Pokemon, but you're like a toy Pokemon, and your goal is to pretty much collect over 700 other toy Pokemon. I mean, it's kind of a cool spinoff. I think it's a pretty fun game. It's definitely not as good as the mainline games, but but I would check this out, especially since you could get the free demo to start. Next up, we got Pokemon Dream Radar. This one's only $3, so it's pretty cheap. It's not a great game by any means, but it's, but it's basically a Pokemon game where you use the AR feature on your 3DS to catch different Pokemon. It's definitely more of like a unique, kind of like obscure Pokemon game. No one really knows about this. No one really talks about it. I mean, there's a reason why. It's not the best. You could also get alternate versions of Thunderous, Tornadus, and Landorus in this game, which is really neat. So that's definitely like the main reason why you should pick up this game for three bucks. I mean, it's kind of a fun game to play if you're bored. You don't really have much else to do. If you also like games that involve the AR function on your 3DS, definitely check this game out. If you're looking for a more chill, you know, low-key game to play before you fall asleep, I think Pokemon Picross or Picross is definitely what you're looking for. Also, I don't know if it's pronounced Picross or Picross, but basically, it's just a regular Picross game, but instead of random pictures, it's pictures and illustrations of different Pokemon. There's about 300 Pokemon puzzles in this game. There's more difficult modes to play in this game if you want to improve your skills. This one's also a free to start game, so you could play a lot of these rounds and levels for free, and I think you eventually have to pay. So check this game out if you want a chill game. The final game on this list is Pokemon Battle Troze. So this is not the most like original type of game. It's pretty much like a Candy Crush type of game. You have to get three identical Pokemon in a row to get more points. The way Nintendo describes this game is a fast paced Pokemon puzzle action game. So you pretty much get points by matching the Pokemon and then those points give the top Pokemon, your enemy Pokemon, damage, and then you beat the level. Each level gets more and more difficult and everything. You face a lot of different legendaries and other cool Pokemon. It's a pretty chill game. It's only $8, so it's relatively cheap. It's another game that's kind of just chill. You know, you play this before bed, you play this in a car ride or something for 15, 20 minutes if you're just trying to pass time. But if you like these type of puzzle games, for sure check this one out. 
Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite Pokemon game of all time. Once again, guys, these games that I just mentioned are only on the eShop for a limited time because the eShop is closing at the end of March. So download these games while you can. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next video.